So I'm thinking about YouTube and the YouTube video platform and just how awesome it is. It is an incredibly powerful medium and um, his operation is fantastic and his reach in the human population is enormous. And what I'm thinking is that as brilliant as the platform is, we need to be concerned about YouTube and its operation. We need to be concerned about YouTube policies. We need to be concerned about the people who run YouTube and make all the decisions regarding content, etc. We need to be concerned about how, how much control YouTube has over the distribution of video content. Um, in my own personal experience, for example, I've had a YouTube channel closed down and I don't understand why that happened. And basically my channel d disappeared and that's all I know. Um, the point I'm making is that the power and reach of YouTube is absolutely enormous. I can the control it has over information is completely amazing and I'm saying this not in any sense of saying YouTube is any way malign or not be negative about YouTube at all. I think YouTube is a, a fantastic platform and brilliant enhancement of our lives. I'm just drawing attention to the, the fact of YouTube's power and influence. And um, I'm not suggesting anything, I'm not making any accusations. I'm just saying we need to be concerned as a society about just how much influence and control YouTube has over our lives because it controls all of the content that we can access. And um, this is why, for example, Comparing YouTube to political parties, this is why we've had multiple political parties like Labour, Conservative, Liberal Democrats to try and compete with each other. We don't just have a single party running the country. That would not be the way to move forward. It would be dangerous for us to do that. I think the same exists in the entertainment sphere and in the, the internet space. I think it is basically not healthy for society to have complete dominance by YouTube in the entertainment space, in the video space. There needs to be a competitor and we need to move forward thinking that competition is the way we've handled this situation in the past. This is where we have Labour and Conservative. We don't just have Conservative or just have Labour. That wouldn't be healthy. I think the same exists in the video entertainment space. We need to have a competitor to YouTube because it is too powerful as, as things stand. It is not healthy for society for things to exist the way it, it does now. And as I've said before, this is not in any way negative about YouTube. I believe YouTube is a great platform myself. I'm just saying that the status quo is not healthy for society as things stand. I don't know how any agency can compete with YouTube because it's too awesome a platform as it stands. So I don't know how a competitor could exist. But um, I do know that it is necessary for us to um, have a balance in the way we present information to the world. In my own personal experience, I've had a YouTube channel closed down, for example, by YouTube for some reason, and I don't know the reason. The point is that YouTube can do however it wants. And as I said, this is not necessarily negative on my line. I'm saying that the fact of the matter is YouTube controls everything on this platform 
and YouTube alone decides what people will see on this platform. I think this is basically not healthy for society because YouTube has too much reach, too much power and influence and it is not healthy to exist in the way it does now. I, I repeat again, I don't know how many times I've done, done this, I'm not being negative about YouTube. I'm not saying there's anything online about YouTube. There's not, that's not where I'm coming from. I'm saying that the situation isn't healthy. We need to have a different situation, i.e. we need to have a competitor for YouTube to keep things balanced and to keep things working in a healthy way for society. So um, I hope this can happen in some way. And I also hope that um, this video can be seen by people. This, this is the point I'm making. Um, there is no way that I can be certain I'll be able to reach people. And this isn't any kind of accusation. I'm simply saying that it is possible for negative things to happen with the situation that we have now. And so we need to guard against that and create more balance in video distribution in society. It is very important and it needs to happen quite urgently, I would say.